everybody, it's Miss Hicks. Today it's May 18th. It's Monday. May starts with a capital M that says M for May. It's the name of a month. And Monday starts with a capital M. It's the day of a week. Monday. Okay? Um, we're going to do a few things. I wanted to review a few things. We're going to do our letter sounds. Um, okay, ready? Let's get started. R, rat, er. Q, queen, qu. G, game, g. A, apple, a. M, man, m. T top t, T H thumb th, O octopus ah, C H chin ch, C K sock k, I itch I, C cat k, X fox x, and that ups at the end. Y yellow y, D dog d, Z zebra z, K kite k, J jug j, L lamp o, H hat p. V van va, W wind wa, P pan pa, N nut n, S snake U up a, B bat ba, F fun fa, E ed e, and it's capital because it's his name, Ed, S H ship W H whistle wa. Good job. Okay. Last week we talked about, um, we read a story about the carrot seed. I want to talk to you about things that the plants need in order to um, live and grow. They're living things. Sun, water, air, and space. Sun. A plant needs sun in order to grow, but it can have too much sun and then it can die. So you need just the right amount of um, everything in order for it to grow. Water. It can have just enough water or it can have too much water and then that is when there's um, it drowns. It can drown in too much water. When there's too much sun, and not enough water, that can be a drought. Air, it needs air. The leaves take in the air through little holes on their leaves that you cannot see, just like you need air. And space for them to grow, because if they're too close, they won't grow properly, okay? So we talked about something very important. We talked about the roots. The roots you don't see, they're underground. The roots actually hold the plant or the tree in place, and they're as big depending on how big the plant will be. Um, they grow out in different directions, and they actually drink water like straws. They suck up water and nutrients for the plant. Those are the roots. Then it goes up to the stem. The stem holds the plant up. The leaves have little um, holes in them to um, get air. And then the petals we know are bright um, because living things like birds and bees and butterflies um, land on them, and they help the seeds travel. Um, the wind also helps the seeds travel, and wherever the seeds grow, they may um, land, they may grow depending on if it has enough sun, air, or water, or space in order to grow. Um, so we learned about the roots, the leaves, the flowers, and the seeds, okay? All right. Um, let's do some sight words, okay? Okay, this is the word is. If you sound it out, it's is but this should be just a sight word that you know is is his his so we have is and his your turn is his as as has we just added an h in front of it as has your turn as has okay or for we added an F in front in the beginning. Or for, your turn. Or for. Okay. By. By. Like the story was by Eric Carle. By. It's not this type of by. It's by. The story was written by someone. My. We added an M in front of it. My. By my. Your turn. By my. Okay. What word is this? The. You should just know that. The. Good. And. And. Good. Okay? So I want you to practice those words. We're going to do some more words right now. This is the word. It ends in ing. So we know anything that ends in ing says ing. So we have going. Going. I'm going to get some ice cream. Going. G -iv. Give, give. Can you give me a taste of your ice cream? Give. Okay. 
We know the TH together says So it's I ink. Th ink. Think. I think I read it correctly. Think. W -ock. Walk. Walk. I took a walk outside because it was so nice. Walk. We know WH together. It says W. When. When can I go outside when it stops raining? When? Sight word? Were. Were. Ask. Ask. Ask a question if you don't know the answer. Ask. Okay? And let's do this one. You know S and T together. Say st, st, ah, stop, stop, and look before you cross the street. Stop. Okay. That's good. Let's do some shape words. What is this? Oval. Good. Star. Octagon. It has eight sides. Eight sides, octagon, diamond or rhombus. This has four equal sides. This is a square, circle, it has six sides, hexagon, hexagon, and this has three equal sides. It is a triangle, and tri means three. Good. Okay? All right. We're going to read a story together. This is a level C story. This is Be Kind to Furry Animals. It's Scholastic Publishing, and it's by Maria Fleming. Okay? Be Kind to Furry Animals. Be kind to friends with feathers. Now your turn. Be kind to friends with feathers. So look, the birds have feathers, right? They're feeding the birds. I love to feed the birds. Be kind to friends with feathers. Be kind to friends with fur. Your turn. Good. Be kind to friends who bark. Be kind to friends who bark. Your turn. Good. Pointing to each of those words. Be kind to friends who purr. Your turn. Be kind to friends with four legs. Be kind to friends with four legs. It could be a lot of different friends. There's a lot of different animals, right? You read it. Be kind to friends with two. Be kind to friends with two. Your turn. Be kind to all your animal friends, and they'll be kind to you. Your turn. Be kind to all your animal friends, and they'll be kind to you. I want you to practice this later, okay? This is a level C. This is where you should be reading. So I want you to point to those words and sound them out. You can use them out. All right. What we're going to do now is um, a little bit, I want to do a second step, and we're going to do some math too. So I wanted to talk to you about, um, we've been talking, I want to talk about measuring. When you measure something, when you measure something, you see how long or short it is or how tall or short it is, okay? Um, so, or how long it is, okay? So let's see. I have some things that I'm going to measure. Usually you can use a ruler. But I'm going to um, say that you can use whatever you want 
in order to let um, in order to measure okay so I have blocks here you might want to use goldfish or Cheerios or something else but I have some blocks here okay so let me show you I'm gonna this is a hole puncher okay but I'm gonna measure it so when you measure something you need to measure it completely you have to start at the bottom and go to the top okay and because if you don't measure it accurately and you miss then you're not going to see measure it correctly all right so let's see if I measure this that looks a little too tall, doesn't it? It goes past the top of the um, hole puncher. So I need to make this so it's accurate, okay? Let's say, does that work? No, now it is too short. So I need to add some cubes to show that I am measuring this exactly how it should be measured. So let me add some cubes. Let me add one more cube. Tell me if I measured it correctly. Okay. Does that look right? Okay. It's, it's at the top. You see that? It measures. So let's count how many cubes it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the, this is six cubes tall because we're doing it this way. If we did it this way, it would be six cubes long. Okay. So let's try this. I have a pencil here. Which do you think is longer or taller? Do you think this is taller or this is taller? This looks taller. We have them right next to each other, so they start at the same at the, the beginning. And then if you keep going, this is taller. This is shorter. Okay? But let's double check. Okay? We remember that the this was one, two, three, four, five, six. The this. The um hole puncher. Let's see how tall the pencil is. Okay. See, it's measured exactly from the bottom to the top. Okay. And we don't skip. So let's count. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. So this was the hole puncher and this was the pencil. Which one, how would you describe them? Tell me how they are different. Okay, so this one is taller and this one is shorter, right? And if we do it like this, one is longer and one is shorter, okay? So the pencil is longer by three, okay? So that's how we measure. So I want you to think about measuring things around your house. Maybe you can use different, um, if you have blocks or Legos or Cheerios, and you can measure and count, and you can start measuring things to see how long or short they are, um, or tall. Um, sometimes we measure things when we talk about how much they weigh. Um, that's different. That's if you get on a scale. We're going to talk about that another day. But that's heavy and light. But you're talking about high and how high something is or how tall something is, or how long or short something is, okay? So I wanted to share that with you, because that's really important, okay? Um, all right, I wanted to show you some words. Okay, what word is this? This is a shape word. Rect, rectangle, rectangle, what is it? Rectangle, and a rectangle has two what? Long sides and two short sides. This is something that you wear on your feet, but it starts with, I wanted to show you, SH says shh when it's together. Shoes, shoes, I got new shoes. Okay, this is a color word, sound it out. Black, you know CK says k, black, black. The night was so black that I needed a nightlight, black. Okay. Okay, this is a lot of this letter. What letter is this? S, right? Sizz. When you have two S's together, scissors, scissors, scissors. I use scissors to cut the paper. Scissors, and I'm very careful. Okay, let's try this one. Mouse. 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 Okay, mouse. 
the mouse ran across the floor and I jumped on the table. <laughs> All right, let's do this today. This is what we're going to do today. This is um, calming down strong feelings. So this is Teresa, okay? Last time we learned about feeling frustrated and we learned that when you have strong feelings, you begin to calm down by putting your hands on your tummy, okay? And you check in with your body and you can say stop. If you feel really frustrated or upset, you can tell your body to stop. And today we're gonna to talk about belly breathing and breathing in order to calm our bodies down when we're feeling upset or frustrated or angry or some other strong feeling, okay? Um, so we know to begin to calm down, but there's a special way of breathing called belly breathing. So we're going to do belly breathing today. All right. So this is Teresa. Okay. She spilled paint on her picture by mistake and she's very, very upset. She knows to begin to calm down by putting her hands on her tummy, saying stop and naming her feelings. And she's calming herself down all the way by taking deep belly breaths. Okay. She has her hand on her tummy. Another word for your tummy is your belly. All right. And her belly moves out as she breathes in. She is quietly breathing in through her nose. That's important, okay? We're going to practice belly breathing. So you're going to put your hand on your um, belly above where your belly button is, right here, okay? And you're going to show, I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? You're going to breathe in through your nose. Ready? And let it out through your mouth. So when you breathe in through your nose, you're feeling your belly rise. Ready? It's getting bigger, and then you're going to let it out through your mouth. And you feel it go down. That's belly breathing. And when you get upset and you need a break, if something has upset you or angered you or frustrated you or you're sad or you just need to calm down, you do belly breaths. You usually do three of them, and then you it gives you a break. So you can think about what you need to do next. Okay? Um, so you put your hands on your tummy, you focus your attention on your breathing, take a breath that makes your tummy move out. So take a breath through your nose and then breathe out through your mouth, okay? It's kind of like if you have soup that's very hot and you're smelling it and then you're blowing on it, okay? So to make it, to cool it down, okay? All right, so sometimes we can do it wrong and that's like if you... You're not breathing in with your mouth and letting your shoulders. You're breathing in through your nose. So just remember that. That is belly breathing. When you breathe in through your nose and you let it out through your mouth, okay? So when I did it, I didn't do it correctly because my shoulders went up. So you have to make sure nose and then out the mouth, okay? All right. So here are some different things I want to talk to you about. Um, if you're frustrated and you can't button your shirt by yourself and you just keep trying and trying and you get really frustrated... Um, you can stop and think and do your belly breaths for three times and then maybe try it again or ask for help. Think about It helps you think about what you're going to do next, okay? Um, someone called you a mean name. Instead of yelling back at them, step back. It's okay to take a break and think about do your belly breaths and then think about, okay, I'm going to tell them, them or I'm going to tell them I don't like it or I'm going to go talk to the teacher, something to help you figure out what you're going to do next. But you're calm. It helps you calm down. Your sister won't let you watch your favorite TV show. Do your belly breathing. Then think about what you want to do. You can tell your sister, I really want to watch it. Can we, can we be fair? Can we share? Can we take turns? Okay. But when you're really upset and up here, it's very hard to rationalize and to be nice and think about your feelings and talk nicely to someone. So when you belly breathe, it helps you relax and it helps you get even, and then you can think about what can I do next, okay? If you're not upset anymore. Um, it's your birthday tomorrow and you can't sleep. Well, that's an excited feeling, so you can also do belly breathing. You can't fall asleep, so you're going to do belly breathing to calm your body down, okay? And then you're in a store and you can't find your parents. That's a very scary feeling. Before you go and run and cry and figure out what you need to do, do some belly breaths and think, okay, I need to find someone that works at the store with a uniform. I need to go to a mom or I, I, I need it and they'll help me find my parents. But you, until you calm down, you can't do any of those things, okay? So today you learned how to belly breathe, okay? And when you have strong feelings and it helps you calm down. Often you have to take several belly breaths before you really begin to calm down. So three is a good number to start, okay? 
Um, it's okay to have strong feelings, but when you have strong feelings, it can be hard to think about what to do at the moment. Calming down helps you think again. It's easier to calm down if you begin as soon as you start to have strong feelings. So I wanted to share that with you today, okay? Um, something that I want to do is I want to read a story to you, okay? And this is um, what we're going to do last. This is our looking at nature. What comes next? And we talked about patterns, but here you can see patterns in nature. Look at the caterpillar. You see the patterns? Black and orange, black and orange, black and orange, and it continues. But we have to figure out what comes next, okay? What comes next? This book asks you to look closely at some pictures, think about what you see, then answer the questions. Can you guess what comes next? Okay? All right, let's see. In this picture, a mouse is sitting on a cat. What do you think might happen next? Do you think the cat's going to like that? Or do you think he's going to chase the mouse? So just use your imagination. Think about what would happen next. Okay? Let's try this. All right? Look at the rainbow on this page. The colors of a rainbow are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. You see that? Okay? It says here, the flower has three rainbow colors. Which colors are they? Do you see them? Orange, yellow... Let's see, what else? Black? There's no black. That's So maybe orange, yellow, purple? There's, these look purple to me. Okay? In the next rainbow color on this chameleon or this fish, fish, so this one has what color? And they change. Chameleons are really neat because they change colors depending on what they're sitting on. Look at that fish. It's pretty. Okay? How many parts? Some things are made up of parts. A snail has one foot. How many wings does a bat have? Two. Good. How many leaves does this clover have? Three. Good. Okay. What comes next? Is it the sea star or the deer? Let's see. So let's see. This has three. So we're looking for something that comes after three. What's three plus one is four. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, the deer has four legs, and one, two, three, four, five. This has five. So the deer would come after, right? Three, four, five. Okay? Big and small. Look at animals on this page. The elephant is the biggest. Okay? And then which animal is next biggest? So what do you think is the next biggest? Is it the tiger or the hippo? I think it looks like the hippo is bigger than the tiger. What do you think? Okay. Which is the smallest on this page? Is it the mouse? Is it the rat? Is it the dog or the kitten? The smallest. I think it's this mouse. Okay. This is about patterns. Which set is next? These three chicks make a set or a pattern. Okay. So let's look. We have yellow, black, yellow. What would come next? Yellow, black, yellow, black. That's A, B, A, B, A, B pattern. Remember we learned about that? And then we have yellow, yellow, black, yellow, yellow, and then what would be there? Black. Good. Let's try this. Black, yellow, black, yellow. Good. Black, black, yellow, black, black, yellow. Yellow, 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 black, black, black. So they have to continue the same, okay? Many people live in places where there are four seasons. The four seasons are winter, spring, summer, fall, okay? And we are in spring right now. Which season is shown in each of these pictures? So flowers begin to bloom in this season, and that is now. That is the spring. So flowers start to bloom. You should notice that if you go outside on a walk, okay? And the trees start to bud. In this season, I go to the beach and swim and play. Do you know what season that is? The summer, okay? In this season, I dress really warm, and I like to go in the snow. Winter, okay? When the leaves fall down off the trees, can you name this season, please? Fall or autumn. Okay? All right, let's try this one. Um, the pic this picture shows the changes in the life of a butterfly, so that's very important. A monarch butterfly starts its life inside an egg. Then it comes out, it is a caterpillar. So we have egg, 
caterpillar. The caterpillar grows and it hangs from a tree and it makes a shell around itself and it's called a chrysalis. Chrysalis. And then the butterfly comes out of the chrysalis. So there's the life stages. So butterflies are not baby butterflies. But butterflies are actually eggs first, then the caterpillar hatches, then it makes a chrysalis. And inside the chrysalis is where all the work is happening. Inside the chrysalis, the butterfly the caterpillar is changing into a butterfly, and then it comes out a beautiful butterfly. And if you notice something about butterflies, they have the same pattern, okay? They're symmetrical on each wing. On each side, they have the same pattern, so they're symmetrical. It's the same on each side. That's important to, to know, okay? So those are some things that I wanted to share with you looking at nature. When you go outside, if you go for a walk with your families, um, you need to wear a mask, but just remember that you can look and see if you see patterns or you notice things about nature. And if you want to share that with me on Class Tag or Google Classroom, um, I would love to see that, okay? I sent a code to everyone's families for Lexia Core 5. It is an assessment. It tests um, your children to see where they are, so I can. it helps me figure out what I need to do next. Um, so please get on that. Um, I sent you the password either via email or text. It is the same password and username. It's the same number. Um, and you just have to put my email in if it asks for teacher email, which is mhicks at bostonpublicschools.org. Okay? So I just wanted to um, sing a song, and then we're going to go for today, okay? Miss Mary Mack. Can you sing it with me? Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, 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 with silver buttons, 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 all down her back, back, back. She asked her mother, 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 for 50 cents, cents, cents. To see the elephant, 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 jump over the fence, fence, fence. He jumped so high, 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 he reached the sky, sky, sky. And he never came back, 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 until the 4th of July. Look for story time um, later. Um, and um, I will be reading a story and uploading that. So I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on Zoom tomorrow at 10 a.m. with Miss X. Have a good day. Bye, everybody.